What's up, YouTube? Today's weekly video is going to be covering for last week. And um, yeah, just want to jump into some things that I've been working on. And um, that's going to be it for today's video. All right. So today's video is going to be covering um, all things personal, all personal projects I've been working on. Haven't been doing any um, research on like text to speech alternatives. Um, I did see or have been trying to work on Parler TTS, but decided to put my resources elsewhere. Um, for now as I've got several other projects that I want to work on and enhance. So the first one being the audiobook maker. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, but let me cover these bottom three right here, which is AI voice cloning, style TTS web UI and Beatrice trainer web UI. So first up is the AI voice cloning repository, also known as tortoise. So I know there are several issues with this repository. Most of them seem to be coming from Linux and Docker. So just a heads up, I think I'll be um, I'll be fixing Docker, um, making sure that all the requirements, so on and so forth, um, install correctly once more. So I'll do a push for that. And then after I do that fix, I will not be working on Docker or Linux anymore for this repository. Number one, I never started that. It was uh, a pull request for that. Um, and so maintaining Docker or maintaining Linux and Docker um, is just an additional thing that I don't think I'll be able to fit into my time schedule um, because I use this repository in Windows. So if there are issues in Windows, um, I can fix that a little bit quicker with the time I have available. I don't think I'll be able to maintain Windows and Linux. So hopefully you understand that um, I'm a solo developer in this case. And if you have any fixes you want to do, just go ahead and make a pull request and um, maybe we can get that fix implemented. So that is the AI voice cloning repository. Um, the next thing is going to be the style TTS web UI. So it seems like you guys have been enjoying the style TTS web UI so far. So if you run into any issues, open up a issues in the issues tab. Um, I've been doing my best to maintain this and close and work through as many issues as possible. So if you have any issues, uh, just raise one in the tab here and I'll, I'll get to it as I can. Um, but uh, as I get busier with other projects, my response time on the issues tab here might slow down a bit. So just just uh, be conscious of that. And then we also had a nice new feature added by John Singleton, which allows you to um, generate paragraphs inside of the web UI instead of running into an error. So all this does is it splits um, a paragraph into sentences. We'll read out those sentences and then concatenate all of those audio samples together so that you have one large audio sample. So that's a nice little implementation that exists in the AI voice cloning repository, aka Tortoise. And then the last one of those is the Beatrice Trainer Web UI. So um, I think this one's been going smooth for the most part for a majority of people. I haven't had uh, too many issues with this, but um, I have been currently working through just this issue with Tommy Volt on the issues tab. And a couple of follow up videos might be coming out for the Beatrice um, architecture. So I somebody mentioned a comment where it'd be nice to see what the difference between RVC and Beatrice is. So I think I'll be doing a video on that. Um, you may have heard if you watched the video for the Beatrice V2. Um, Beatrice doesn't sound the best. It can sound okay um, or decent at best, but uh, it's uh, most likely only if you really, really, really need it for some type of real time application because it's not at the quality of like RVC. RVC is um, much higher quality, however, at the cost of some speed. So the latency is um, like one to two seconds. If that is fine for people, they can use RVC. But uh, I think a, a comparison video would be pretty interesting. So I'll be coming out with that uh, sometime, maybe in the near future. But I've got a bunch of other videos that um, are planned. Now let's head into the audiobook maker and talk a little bit about uh, what I'm doing for the audiobook maker. And um, yeah, so the repository isn't um, up to date for any of that. Version three is going to be where I'm doing all of my updates and then I'll push it all into the main branch um, after I do the updates. But we can just jump into the um, code here and go and run it. So if you saw the other video the other day, I was impressed by chat GPT 01 preview that 
it was able to split this into uh, model view controller, which is a architecture to keep um, GUIs a little bit more um, modular and easier to design. So adding functionality should be a little bit easier. But the application is pretty much the same, but I am slowly adding additional features like TTS engine. Um, I will be adding style TTS too, and then tortoise into here. And then I have a checkbox that will do RVC for you. So if you want to do um, or generate samples with RVC, you can. So that checkbox is going to be there. And all of the other functionality stays the same from the previous uh, implementation of the audiobook maker. But I am going to be adding, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Um, I am going to be adding an option to where you can select speakers for certain sentences and that um, will allow you to you know maybe have a different voice speak for different dialogue so i am trying to figure out how i want to implement that into the audiobook maker um, i have a few ideas but i need to talk it through with uh, chat gpt just to see if my ideas are plausible and uh, feasible so Look for that in the upcoming future. Um, and if you've been using the audiobook maker, if you have anything that you want me to implement, any woes that um, that you've come across, please let me know so that I can take that into consideration as as I um, refactor the code and um, and add new features. So I've got this neat little area to where um, adding TTS engines should be pretty trivial. Um, so I, you just have to write how uh, the engine is going to process audio sentences. So um, I want to make it as good as I can um, because well, I have some audiobooks that I want to make. And yeah, those are all the updates I have on the audiobook maker. Oh, and one other thing that I want to talk about for the audiobook maker actually got a little bit off track is that I think we can use LLMs to um, separate and determine who should be speaking what. And so I did a quick little test demo here. I said, given the novel below, meant to say novel, not light novel, um, can you rerun through it labeling which portions are narrator, character one, character two, etc., based on how many characters you see? So given that, it um, was able to break down who is the narrator, who's the character one, um, narrator so on and so forth tom buchanan tom buchanan daisy buchanan and the model was able to um figure out which portions were narrator and which portions were characters so this would be a very nice uh feature to add into the audiobook maker i'm trying to figure out how i would do this with like a local version of llama um to be able to figure out based on context, who is the narrator. And then based on that, um, maybe some type of JSON file or some type of um, file that is able to keep track of who's speaking, it'll be able to update the audiobook maker to um, generate these sentences with these specific voices based on what a user selected. And yeah, that would be automated. So you wouldn't have to do that by yourself manually. So trying to figure out how to implement that. But all of these fix or all of these implementations, all these additional features will go will take quite a bit of time. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and uh, yeah, I actually do want to hop back into my GitHub repository, talk a little bit more about one more thing. Um, and that is going to be uh, one of my kind of dead projects right now, which is Vivi, the AI uh, VTuber. I might be coming back to this um, depending on how much access I have to chat 01 preview um, because I can probably just refactor all of the code with 01 preview um, because I don't like how all of this is organized. This project was one of my first projects um, and it uh, just was a bunch of different files. I don't know. It's just completely disorganized. Um, I don't like how I how I have it structured right now. And so I was going to refactor it, but that was going to take a lot of time. So with the latest and greatest um, ChatGPT model, 
I can uh, I can do that. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for today's video. If my voice sounded a little hoarse today, I am getting a little sick, so just uh, that's why. But once again, as always, I'd very much like to thank all of the members of my channel for supporting me um, and you know letting me know feedback on the packages. Keep it coming, and um, I will see all of you guys later in a future video.